Hello gamers and welcome back to the Armbar Arcade. I'm Nate and today we're continuing our UFC 3 career mode with Kate the Nightmare Gomez. Now I've noticed a couple of things since our last episode. First of all our contract goals. To beat our rookie rival who's Julia Mulder. We've already beaten her twice in the WFA but we'll happily do it again. Win all five fights by stoppage and get at least one fight to high hype. Uh, we've got low hype for this fight, so I'm thinking it's going to be one of the later ones, hopefully. In terms of the greatest of all time status, I've noticed you only have to break six performance records and two promotion records to become the greatest of all time, so we don't need to do all of them. Initially, I thought we'd have to do 12 submissions and 13 knockouts, but we can quite easily do one or the other as long as we do some of the other ones there. I like that 5 million social media followers somehow makes you the greatest of all time. I mean, you might be the most entertaining of all time, but probably not the greatest. We've also got the overall rankings. Obviously, Amanda Nunes there at the top with uh, Valentina Shevchenko, Chris Cyborg, Holly Holm, Kat Zingano, Ronda Rousey at number 10, Jermaine Durandamy, like tons of high-level people up there. I like that they've gone with this no rank underneath the uh, rankings rather than going down to 60s like they did in UFC 2. That's good. So last time we accepted a fight against Luana Silva at UFC Fight Night 110. We're quite a lot better than her at fighting, so hopefully that's going to pay off. The hype is low. The camp is four weeks. Let's get on it. So going back to our Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu gym for four weeks of training. Ah, here we go. Here's Julia Mulder tweeting at us again. Hey, Kate Nightmare. Told you I'm coming for you. Just signed my UFC contract. Hashtag amateur. I mean, how did you get a UFC contract? You've lost twice to us in quick succession, and both times you got absolutely pummeled. So I really don't see how you've landed a UFC contract. The only reason anyone knows who you are is because I fought you. Literally true. So to our upcoming fight and our training camp, we're going to promote, first of all, we can start a video game streaming account and become Demetrius Johnson. That's that's actually probably going to be what I choose, but let's have a look. We can get a gym discount for cleaning the mats after training. Probably don't post that to social media or Julia Mulder will have a field day. Or we can just post to social media like normal. Let's start a video game streaming account. Why not? We're going to stream UFC 3 and just have every single fight be us knocking Julia Mulder out. And we are also going to have to do some training, obviously. A uh, bit of grappling and stamina won't do us too much harm. Let's see if Kate Nightmare is as good in video games as she is in the Octagon. Shouldn't that be the other way around? Unless we just suck at video games. Oh, hi, Julia Mulder. You better put the controller down and get back in the gym. Seriously. I mean, we've beaten you twice. What do you What do you want, Julia? Now, it looks like Luana Silva is a brawler, which means we need to take her down, really. But our striking's better than hers, so we might be all right. It doesn't look like she's got all that much power. Oh, we got 107% fitness. We've overtrained, apparently, which is... That's a new one. And now we're getting punched in the face, as well as being told we've overtrained. Well, that's just a double whammy, isn't it? The opponent will come straight for you in the first two minutes of the first round. Let's put that out with the takedown. I think we might have to if it's going to go like that. Let's wear our home national kit. Why not? Probably not in Brazil, but that doesn't matter. Hey everyone, I'm Megan Olivi. Oh, it's Megan Olivi. Hello. The UFC returns this weekend with a fresh face who is destined to make headlines. When UFC President Dana White went looking for a fight, he was hoping that he would end up with a future UFC star. And those are the expectations after he signed a regional champion who has dominated... I'm not a regional champion. What are you on about? On route to her octagon I've had three fights. This woman right here is the most accomplished submission specialist to come to the octagon in years. And I, I thought she was a brawler. She'll draw... She's won 11 out of her last 12 fights. Are we supposed to lose this? We got the big reach though. I like it. Nice. Let's see how they announce her. I'm interested.
Gomez. Okay, so this is our first proper UFC fight. We're going to take it slowly, hopefully. Try and do a little bit of striking and not get too badly kicked in the head. There we go. We're just going to keep our distance, throw some punches. Now, they said she was a brawler, and then they said she was a BJJ specialist, so I'm not quite sure whether to keep this standing or on the ground, but we'll see. We'll see how things feel. She doesn't seem to be attacking us very much. One of the hints was she'll come at you in the first two minutes. Well, we've had a minute of fight, and she struck us precisely once in the head. Uh, we're definitely out striking her here. Feeling a little bit too easy. One of the things with this game is you'll you'll start to do really well with the striking, and then you'll just get hit out of nowhere. So we've got to be careful. But I'm optimistic at the moment. A little bit of a duck there, some head movement. Yeah, we're just lighting her up. Like, I'm surprised she's not reacting to some of these strikes. She's just doing a Justin Gaethje and standing there taking them. Hopefully she doesn't get too many counter punches off or counter kicks. She seems to like kicks, which we just weren't warned about at all. So thanks, sparring training. You were really helpful. Two, two minutes into the fight, and we are doing pretty well. I reckon we've run, won this round with the judges so far. Uppercuts there. Oh, a big head kick. Yeah, we need some more of these kicks. Maybe we can learn some more moves in uh, training because I think that's really what we need is some big moves like spinning kicks or back fists or just something that we can throw when we're in a bit of trouble. All that seems to be landing for her is the body kicks um, and some head kicks, I guess, or, and some head punches. Okay, let's take her down. Let's make sure that she's not... Oh, okay, no, this is a problem. Come on, take down, take down, take down. That's better. Right, now we're going to do our signature ground and pound, see if she... I mean, she's not defending herself. Is, is Mario Yamasaki ref, refereeing this? Because... There we go, she's out, come on. No, it's Eve Levine. He's just doing his best Mario Yamasaki impression. Well, we were having a few problems on the feet after we started off really, really well. So I thought, you know what? Take her down, punch her in the head, and that should really do it. And it did. Knockout! Yeah! Go on, Kate. No UFC jitters for us. No, sir. One knockout, one finish, one UFC fight, one win, one consecutive win, some career earnings, and we won a fight by stoppage. Gained a lot of fans, though, and our win bonus. I'm happy with that. For a first fight in the UFC, you can't do much better. Like, we were kind of hitting her all over the place. She started to get some shots off, took her down, KO'd her. I mean, you can't do much better than that, can you? Oh, we got a tweet from John Dodson and her mum and assuming a fan. So, good selection of tweets there. Megan O'Levy, hello. Kate Nightmare seems like a legit prospect. Can't wait for her next fight. Hashtag humbled. Thanks, Megan. I'm going to work, keep working hard and doing my best to get better. Or the Conor McGregor option of I'm ready for the big time, bring on the best. I'm going to put thanks, Megan. I'm going to keep working hard because A, I'm not yet ready for the best. And B, we were going for the Rose Namajunas vibe, really, not the Rousey vibe. So we got Valeria Zoranovich at UFC Fight Night 117 on the undercard. We're pretty much better than her in everything. She's got a little bit more health rating. We've also both got pink hair. The battle of the pink hair could be good. Lexi Bishop, again. Uh, we've beaten you already, Lexi Bishop. Just get over it. And we're far, far better than her. Like, there's not a lot of point doing that. Or Charlotte Hall, who, again, we're quite a lot better than. Right, we're going for the battle of the pink hair. Only one UFC fighter can have pink hair, and it's going to be us. Juliana Mulder is tweeting us again. Take a picture of your record, because I'm going to mess it up as soon as they give me a chance. But well, you're going to have to start winning some fights, aren't you? So now we got $24,000. It looks like we can get some of the other gym memberships. We could get a membership for the boxing gym. I think we will. Let's do a little bit of boxing. We'll do two weeks of boxing, one week of jiu-jitsu, hopefully. Oh, one of the activity drills is called Touch Butt in the Park. 
that is a wonderful wonderful reference just in case you don't understand that i mean i'm assuming you do but nate diaz versus conor mcgregor conor mcgregor had a movement coach called ido portal nate diaz made reference to it saying you've spent all this week playing touch butt in the park with that dork which was just an amazing insult considering you won as well you know what we're going to do some touch butt in the park and I do wonder if I've made a little bit of a mistake here because it looks like we've only got a two-week camp until fight week because I chose two weeks at this gym. So maybe you can't use two different gyms. So we'll just have to deal with that as it comes. So Valeria is apparently a close-range fighter. Though apparently last time our last opponent was a BJJ and a brawler-style fighter and neither of them she was very good at. So we'll take it with a pinch of salt. Let's take her down. Let's do... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, you can take us down. Get back up. It's good training for the fight. Your opponent has no clue on how to defend against Kimuras. <laughs> okay, well, that's a good tip. I'm liking that. We'll go for a Kimura then. Bit of side control. There's nobody here. Look at all the empty seats. You will pay to watch me fight. And they both possess the same height and a or Kate fight, sorry. Not me. Okay, so it is the second fight of this video, the Battle of the Pink Hair. We're against Zorel the Witch. Oh, and we take another early head kick. That seems to be a theme of our UFC fight so far. But we've got an early takedown as well. We're not going to go for ground and pound just yet because she doesn't know how to defend against Kimuras. So we're going to do a Kimura and she is reacting rather slowly there. Hopefully we can submit her really early, but... Oh, it looks like her gauge has moved out quite a lot. I think that's due to her stamina. If she's got a lot of stamina, it's a lot easier to get out. I was going to try another Kimura, but she's blocked it. Maybe backside for a rear naked? Back mount? Yeah, let's get back mount. Try a rear naked choke. There we go, get the arm under. I mean, she's not very good against defending submissions, but she has got enough stamina that it's probably not going to matter. We're doing okay here. Oh, oh, no, she's out. Well, maybe if you punch her in the face a bit, it'll be easier to submit her. Who knows? I'm going to posture up, get some ground and pound going. Oh, punch from the bottom. No, hey, don't punch me from the bottom. Look, I'll teach you to punch me from the bottom. That's it. Elbows. Oh, let's have another elbow. Oh, yeah. That was our shortest fight so far. Exactly two minutes, and she is on the canvas, unconscious. Well, it looks like... We're a ground and pound specialist, even though we're a submission specialist, but who cares? Look at that eye, wow. We have destroyed her. Gomez! I'm pretty sure a lot of those cheering fans are the same as the fans from UFC 2, but who cares? You can be sure her bankroll is going to be fatter on Monday morning. She'll probably get a bonus. At the very least, though, we'll probably get a bonus. Okay. Yeah, give us a bonus, man. Well, where's the bonus? She'll probably get a bonus, they say. No? No bonus. Okay, well. Fair enough. I mean, how much more do you want us to knock people out before you start giving us bonuses? Oh, we've got a Twitter clip. It's fun watching K Nightmare do her thing on fight. Look at this. <laughs> oh, I love it. She's like boomeranged our clip of our knockout. Uh, the fight promotion stuff is really good. I'm enjoying it. Just all the hype stuff and posting and seeing what people post about you. It's just so much more reactionary than, oh, you won the fight in UFC 2, you know? Andressa Cavalcante. She's quite good, though. Isabella Silva. She's quite good, though. Or Rianne Peters. Her grappling is absolutely terrible, but her striking's good. I think we match up the best with Isabella Silva, so we're going to go with that one, I think. UFC Fight Night 125. It's the third consecutive fight night we've been on. Hopefully we can get a PPV sometime soon. Back to the BJJ gym, I think. Three weeks of training. Well, we surpassed 60,000 fans just by streaming and going on Twitter. I mean, the knockouts probably helped too. And finish off the camp with a spa, as usual. Because, I mean, we learned the Kimura thing about our last opponent and then just didn't use it. So we'll try that again. See if we can get any secrets about Isabella Silva. Your upcoming opponent cannot be hurt by leg kicks. Even if you crush her legs, she will not be hurt. So, we are underway in our third and final fight of this episode. We go for another head kick, but we missed it. 
Just going to back away here and try not to get hit too much. We are against the cage, which is never a good idea. So let's try and regain octagon control. She's quite a good striker, though. I'll give her that. Uh, we did pick this fight because we were all oh, stuffed to takedown as well. We were pretty evenly matched. I didn't want too easy of a fight, but I didn't want too hard of a fight. We did get this to medium hype, so there is a little bit of hype behind it. Another body kick. It's hard to defend body kicks on the new game because you've got L2 plus R2 as the block button for them rather than just R2 like it used to be. But we are striking Silver in the face a little bit, so that's good. Getting struck in the face a little bit ourselves, that's not as good. There we go, we're just going to back away a little bit, get ourselves some space. There we go, nice, under the punch, take her down, posture up, yeah, start hitting her in the face, this is what we do. Elbows as well, nice, big elbows, she doesn't seem to be as hurt by it as our other opponents, like our other opponents were like, oh no, I better go unconscious now, she's just not. And we are losing our stamina with this ground and pound, we basically punched ourselves out here. She's grabbing us down, uh, try and posture up again, but she's going to get up. Okay, we're going to back away, regain some stamina. Oh, we're back on the ground. Some big ground and pound there. But she's reversed us, that's interesting. Going to get back up here. Nice, she blocked our head kick, but it was still well thrown. We need to be careful here. She seems to be a lot better at striking than we had imagined. I'll take it down again because, you know, we, we really need to keep her on the ground to keep our advantage up. Maybe an inverted triangle choke. Can it work? Will it work? What do we think? Well, we've started the procedure for an inverted triangle choke. I didn't know we knew an inverted triangle choke. But I think, yeah, she's going to get out of it. But it's okay. I think the round went kind of our way. We got a couple of takedowns and some striking in. <laughs> the referee there. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not Dr. Zoidberg. Give it up, man. Round two. Here we go. Dan Mergliotta caught in the action. And we are underway. Oh, yeah. Big kick there. There we go. We're doing some good striking. Oh, oh. Oh. Well, we went in for a takedown and she just uppercutted us and won. So, yeah, I mean, that, that was the end of the fight. Definitely a thing that happened. I mean, what can you do when that happens? We go for the takedown and we kind of get short one inch punch to the face. So, yeah, what can you do? Well, that's killed our win streak. We win or we learn. Guess we're going to learn. Well, that disappointing end to the fight is going to just about do it for this episode of UFC 3 on the Armbar Arcade. If you like this episode, leave a like. If you're new here in the Armbar Arcade, subscribe. Leave in the comments your most disappointing UFC losses. So someone you didn't want to see lose in a certain fight or their first loss. For me, I guess Cody Garbrandt was a big one. He was undefeated until he lost to TJ Dillashaw. I mean, I like Dillashaw. It was just kind of like, oh... That's, that's the end of Cody Garbrandt's winning streak, I guess. Same with uh, Kate Gomez. It's come a little bit earlier for us. But we'll bounce back, and we'll see you next time in the Armbar Arcade. Oh,